on right here. All right, you know, one of the best parts about living in New Mexico, and really in the Mountain West, is when you get up early in the morning, especially when you're in the mountains, you go see what wildlife's out the, out the front door. Mm -hmm. You get all the kids gathered around. You say, kids, come check this out right here. Oh, come on. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Wow. <laughs> there are at the least family. there are at least six skunks right here. There could that? be eight. I know this is the business end of the skunk. I can't tell if there's another one on the other side. But that's some rough luck, Chris. So we appreciate the picture though. I don't know if I've ever seen that many together. Picks at KRQE. Com. All right, here's a look at what's going on. We have a few showers around the area right now. Albuquerque, relatively quiet, but there is a little bit of activity in western portions of Valencia County and up to our north. So we could still see a brief shower tonight, but most of the action, especially across the northern mountains, starting to die off at this point and down to east central sections of the state. We are seeing scattered showers continuing, but these two starting to lose some of their punch at this hour, and they'll start to back off a little bit here. And then as we head into tomorrow, thanks to a cold front pushing through, we are going to crank up some pretty good storms again tomorrow. 79 in the metro area right now. East northeast winds at 10 miles an hour. East winds are going to be a pretty regular feature for us over the next 24 hours or so as we start to drag in some of that cooler air across the northeast. Temperatures cooler right now already in the low 60s and mid 60s down to the south, still into the 70s and 80s right now. For the most part, things relatively quiet. High pressure still kind of sitting over us, but it's allowed enough moisture in here to go ahead and touch off some storms and then with the front pushing its way through that's going to crank up more storms here so what about Hurricane Jimenez. Is this going to be a factor for us? A little bit. It's going to need some major league help, though. What this thing's going to do is kind of sit off the coast of the Baja here through early parts of the weekend. Then later on in the weekend, that'll help to go ahead and drag some moisture in here. It'll work a little bit of moisture in, but that alone wouldn't be enough to have a huge impact on our weather. We're going to need a few other things, and we're going to get them over the next few days. First of all, it's that cold front pushing its way through, and as it works on through here into tomorrow, it will help to bring more moisture in as well. And not only that, but some weather disturbances coming in over the weekend will also help to draw air up in the atmosphere and give us some more storms out there. So you add that in with a little bit of moisture from Jimena, and we've got a pretty good shot at at least scattered showers as we head through the next four or five days. So not a bad setup for us. Not so wet you can't get outside, but not so dry that we have major league fire problems. So it could be a good setup all the way around. Scattered showers possible across the northwest for tomorrow. Northeast temperature in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Good chance at showers here. Back toward the south and west. Shot at showers in the scattered fashion, mainly over the Gila and over to the southeast. Temperatures, for the most part, going to be in the high 80s and low 90s. And a few afternoon storms will be a possibility. East winds gusty overnight and into tomorrow. And as you head out into the Albuquerque area, temperatures in the mid-80s for tomorrow. Scattered afternoon thunderstorms. And that'll be possible in Santa Fe all the way through the weekend and into the beginning of next week. And then here in the Albuquerque area, scattered storms here as well will be a possibility for us, not only tomorrow, but all the way through Sunday and maybe even Monday. All right, so 90s are gone? 90s are gone for the most part. We can still grab one or two, but we're starting to cool down. All right, thanks, Mark. Sports is next.